morning to all welcome back to vichita rashkumar youtube channel in this video i would like to continue the model question paper for the lab technician grade 2 aspirants in telangana state so in this session i would like to continue the same session like from the questions uh, 55 to 80 questions the maximum question paper will be containing 80 questions so last video i have done the um, mcqs like a uh, first question to uh, 54 questions in this video i would like to continue the same question 55 to 80 okay so chuddha mamana one by one which anticoagulant is used in the hematology for cbc which anticoagulant and a the each now that low a the rectum gadda katta kunda hematology the cbc count you okay sir sodium fluoride okay edta sodium uh, citrate heparin option uh, two is the correct answer EDTA is the which one of the anticoagulant is mainly used in the hematology for its complete blood clone. Okay. So next coming to the second question, which of the following instrument is used to measure the uh, okay, absorbance of light? Okay, each in the A equipment and the use chest are then measure chedanki absorbance of light in a measure chedanki kind each in instrument in the use chest are centrifuge. Spectro, okay, spectro photometer incubator water bath option 2 is the correct answer spectro photometer next coming to the which chemical is used to remove the proteins from the plasma samples kind of each and a chemical use test the arrow proteins remove chair and kiss as plasma samples nundi ammonium sulfate potassium chloride sodium bicarbonate sodium chloride option 1 is the correct answer ammonium sulfate next coming to the what is the clinical significance of the elevated serum uric acid levels Okay, significant manam uh, vaidya paranga oka daaniki ante kinda ichina serum uric acid levels lo perigayane telladaniki oka lakshanam enti ani significance dani oka pramukhyata vaidya paranga doctor chudaga em antaru man hospital gelama fresh ga unda chali pedutunda pain uppostunda vomiting sunnaya this is one of the clinical significance okay so how we can diagnose the clinical significance elevated in serum uric acid levels okay kidney failure sorry liver failure kidney function impairment diabetes mellitus hyper Lipidemia. Okay, so here when we will uh, raise automatically uh, elevated or increase in the serum uric acid levels, automatically it will affect on the kidney function. Okay, option two is the correct answer. Next, coming to the which component is measured in renal clearance test? In the each and component measure chest or renal clearance test, blood glucose serum, albumin serum, creatine, potassium ions. Option three is the correct answer. Okay, CRM creatinine is the one of the component is measured in the renal clearance test. Next one is the, what is the clinical significance of triglyceride measurements? In the each and the one, a triglyceride measure chest or clinical significance. And the triglyceride measurements, uh, okay, why the paranga the neko prama kita yente di. Assessing kidney function, assessing liver function, monitoring blood lipids, okay, blood lipids and monitoring blood glucose. Option three is the correct answer, monitoring blood lipids. Lipids, okay. Which instrument is used to measure the absorbance of light in laboratory samples? Kabe de kinde ichna watlo a parikarani use ches taru absorbance of light measure ches taru ki mukhyam ga laboratory samples ke. Calorimeter, incubator, centrifuge, spectrophotometer. Option 4 is the correct answer. Okay. Spectrophotometer. What is the correct procedure to store sample, serum samples? Kabe de kinde ichna dantlo a the correct procedure. A temperature man maintain ches taru serum samples store ches taru ki lablo. Okay. Room temperature 4 degrees minus 20, 37 degrees centigrade. So, option 4 is the correct answer. Next, coming to the what is the uh, clinical significance of measuring serum or bill to bill? Liver function, renal function, blood clotting, blood glucose levels. Option 1 is the correct answer. What is the clinical significance? Okay, he major serum bill to bill measure uh, clinical significance. Then, I come important. Okay, so here the liver function is the one of the uh, clinical significance. Next one is the what is the purpose of the cold storage in specimen handling? Uh, but specimen man handle chase at uh, cold storage and maintain chayali. Free samples maintain uh, sample stability, increase reaction rates, uh, sterilize samples. Okay, the main uh, in, uh, main answer is the option to is the correct answer to maintain stable sample stability. But sample ela is the same. And cold storage maintain chest the winter. Okay. Next, what type of water is produced by a distillation process? Okay, deionized distilled water, tap water, hot water. Option 2 is the correct answer. Okay, distilled water manam, what is produced by a distillation process? Okay, and distilled water and the distillation process were then tire chest. What is the clinical significance of the build bin levels? Build bin levels are like important scientry. It will okay, mainly it will do the liver function, renal function, it will balance. 
cardiac function. Option 1 is the correct answer. Next, coming to the what is the first aid procedure for chemical burns in a lab. If you have a lab, chemical burns in a lab, first aid, you can use the same. Wipe with a dry cloth, cover with gauze, apply antiseptic cream, flush with water. Option 4 is the correct answer. First, we have to flush with water. Okay. Next, which instrument is used to measure light absorbance in samples? If you have a lot of use in light absorbance samples, light absorbance measure shared and calorimeter, spectra photometer, incubator, centrifuge. Option 2 is the correct answer. What is the purpose of using percentage transmittance in spectro photometry? Okay. If you have a lot of Okay, measuring observance, measure sample concentration, measure light intensity, measure sample weight. Option 2 is the correct answer, measure sample concentration. Which instrument is commonly used to measure pH in a laboratory? Spectrophotometer, potentiometer, pH meter, centrifuge. Option 3 is the correct answer, pH meter. What is the main function of um, ion selective electrodes? Measure light observance, uh, detect specific ions, measure viscosity, regular temperature. Option 2 is the correct answer, detect specific ions. Next, which part of the centrifuge helps to prevent sampling, sample spillage? Okay, rotor, lid, timer, speed control. Option two is the correct answer. So here the um, okay lid is one of the part of the centrifuge helps to prevent sample spillage. Okay, and that means when we are talking about the motor, we are talking about the biotic part. But if we are talking about lid, it is important. It will prevent the spillage sample. Okay. Next, coming to the Next, what is the main purpose of the SOP in a laboratory? Increase efficiency, ensure standard processes, new staff, improve productivity. Option, okay, two is the correct answer. So, main purpose of the SOP in a laboratory, it will ensure standardized, standardized process. Next one is the which component of the blood coagulation is measured by the prothrombin time? Okay, factor 8, factor 2, factor 5, factor 10. Option 2 is the correct answer, factor 2. What is the primary storage condition for serum sample? Room temperature 37 degrees minus 24 degrees. Okay. Option 4 is the correct answer. 4 degrees centigrade. Next one. Which enzyme is measured to diagnose in myocardial infection? LDH, creatinine, LD, glucose. Okay, so 76, option 1 is the correct answer, LDH. Next one is, the, uh, what should be done if a specimen is perceptible to, to be contaminated? Discard it, process is as it's usual, label it as a contaminated process. Seek supervisor guidance, option, okay, 4 is the correct answer, seek supervisor guidance. Okay, why are control samples necessary in laboratory testing? Increase productivity, calibrate instruments, ensure result accuracy, analyze new samples. Option 3 is the correct answer. It will ensure result accuracy. That is the reason we have to maintain the control samples. Okay, to ensure result accuracy. What is the main purpose of the centrifuge in a clinical labs? Separate plasma from whole blood. Okay, why we have to maintain it? It will separate plasma from whole blood. Okay. Collect red blood cells, analyze glucose, perform immunosis. Option 1 is the correct answer. The last question is the, the main objective, the, the main advantage of using a magnetic okay, sterilizer in a lab is mixing without contamination, mixing without contamination, cooling reagents, and okay, weighing substances accurately. Option 1 is the correct answer. Option 1 and 2 correct only. Okay, mixing without contamination, mixing. That is only correct answer. Okay. So till now I have discussed the model question paper, second video uh, from the 55 question to 80 questions. Thank you all for watching my channel. Okay. Next we will meet in next video. Thank you. Bye bye.